Hey, Tony here. Today I wanted to take time to go over the 10 limited edition reissued still books that are coming out on September 27th, 2022. Um, this will give everybody an opportunity that missed out on these a chance to, to purchase them from Amazon, um, which I think is a great thing for those that missed out on them. It's a good way of being able to pick up some of these really nice looking still books. So thought I, what I thought I would do today is kind of show you the still book so that way you'll get an idea of what it actually looks like. Because um, I was able to actually purchase these when they were first issued. And um, so anyways, um, I'm just going to do these in alphabetical order. I just thought it might be easier that way. I will have a link down below of each of these to where you click on the link to purchase these if you want to purchase them from Amazon, if you want to get any of these. Um, but first up we have Gattaca. So this right here was a kind of a strange looking still book. It is a little bit on the blurry side um, where the still book isn't as clear as you can tell. It's kind of like got a blurry image, but pretty nice. It's a nice looking still book. Um, I'm not sure if these reissued ones are gonna have any inside artwork because this one in particular did not have any artwork on the inside. So that'd be interesting to see if this one actually comes with any artwork. Okay, the next one is um, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, which was previously a Best Buy exclusive. This one actually looks pretty good. Um, I never actually opened this one up before. I'm just gonna leave mine sealed. But anyway, it kind of gives you an idea. But I do like the artwork on this one just because it is nice looking, colorful. Um, but also, that same day, they're gonna reissue um, Jumanji, I think, is it called The Next Level? That's kind of small, I can't hardly see it. But another great looking still book. This one actually did get open. Um, but Jumanji The Next Level, really nice looking artwork on this one. This was previously a Best Buy exclusive. I like that, just the idea that they have all this artwork on it. And then we have all of the um, baboons on the back. And this one actually did have some inside artwork. So yeah, the Jumanji films um, were pretty fun. I thought that they were pretty interesting. Okay, I know one that everybody's probably gonna wanna get is the Last Action Hero still book um, that was released. This right here was a wide release. It was not exclusive to any store. So um, a lot of people missed out on this one just because it was really a limited run. They didn't do too many of these. Um, this came out during the pandemic, so might, might have had any, something to do with it. But really great looking artwork on this one. I do like the way that these um, this one looks. And it did have some inside artwork. So yeah, this would be a great opportunity for those that missed out on the last action heel to be able to get that. Another one that a lot of people had a hard time getting was the Best Buy exclusive for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, really nice looking still book on this one. Great movie, good Tarantino film. This is what the still book looks like on the front. It is a matte finish. And there's the back. And this one had some inside artwork and some... Um, the ninth and final film for Quentin Tarantino. I believe it's what it says on the inside. So it's the matte finish. Really nice looking still book. Okay, another one that people may be after um, is Spider-Man No Way Home. This right here was a Best Buy exclusive. I do think that a lot of people had a hard time getting this one also. So great opportunity for them to be able to, to get this one. Let's see, really great looking artwork. This is another one that's got a matte finish. Really nice looking image. The inside did not have anything spectacular about it. Just a colorful, you know, inside. Okay, another one that's getting reissued. Now, all of these are being reissued as 4K releases, um, but whenever I purchased the original Venom, um, part of the Project Pop Art from Best Buy, um, it was a Blu-ray release. I don't know if they had the 4K available in my area, so I did pick up, because I do get all the Project Pop Art still books, but I never did open this one up. But it is a great looking still book. I've seen images of it. Um, so, 
Um, anybody interested in Venom, this would be a great way to get that one. And then of course, Venom Let There Be Carnage is another great one from Best Buy. So you'll have the opportunity to get both Venom and Venom Let There Be Carnage all on 4K. And this is the artwork on this one. Very busy looking artwork. It is a matte finish. Looks really great. The movie was okay. It wasn't anything spectacular. I really enjoyed the original, the first Venom. Um, not this one as much, but really great looking artwork on the inside for that. And then the last two that we have that are coming out, we have Zombieland, which was a Best Buy exclusive. Great film, really fun watch, and really nice looking still book. I, I like the way that the artwork looks, and then of course we have Woody Harrelson on the back. And we did have some zero inside artwork, so that would be very interesting to see if they actually put any artwork on the inside of this one for the reissue. It would, if they do, I may be tempted to actually get the reissue. But the other one, of course, is Zombieland Double Tap, which was another Best Buy exclusive. And I don't remember if this, and if this one had any inside artwork or not, but nice looking still book. As you can see, it's got the number two. I do like the way that that's very comparable. Um, Zombieland was actually a matte finish. This one right here um, is it's a really lightly glossed one with some spot gloss. Great image on the back. And then on the inside, it did actually have artwork on the inside for this particular release. So, yeah, I'll be interested to see if Zombieland actually comes with some inside artwork. But those are the 10 Steelbook um, reissues that they're doing on September 27th, 2022. Like I said, I'll have some links down below where you can actually get directly to these items if you want to purchase those. Um, but yeah, those are the ones. I'm very happy that they're doing these reissues for people that want to get these. Um, I think that's a great idea. Maybe they'll continue doing this if these do well. Maybe they'll actually do some other ones that people missed out on. But leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular still books. If you're interested in any of these particular releases. Um, I really do enjoy reading your comments. So um, if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.